Hi, I'm Emily. I'm a trained clinical pharmacist working as a medical science liaison with Amgen. Today, we'll be talking about the LUMA program, which stands for Learn to Understand and Manage Severe Asthma. LUMA is a program that provides free asthma education to patients and caregivers. Knowing your triggers is a large part of managing asthma. So what causes these triggers to activate the immune system? Asthma is a condition where the body's immune system overreacts, causing inflammation or swelling in the airways. While most people will react normally to their environment, someone with asthma might have an immune system that goes into overdrive, causing symptoms like wheezing, shortness of breath, coughing, and a tight feeling in the chest. We call these reactions to specific things triggers, and they're a bit different for everyone. It's important to note that what causes you to have an asthma attack may not necessarily trigger asthma symptoms in someone else. While it may be impossible to avoid all of your asthma triggers, learning to recognize your unique triggers can empower you to take proactive steps to reduce your exposure to triggers and the risk of an asthma attack. Some common triggers might include infections like bacteria or viruses, allergens, pollution, emotions like laughing or crying, exercise, and the weather. You'll want to pay attention to when and where your asthma symptoms get worse. Write it down in a journal and discuss it with your asthma doctor. Your doctor may recommend steps for controlling allergens in your home, including potentially using a HEPA filter, reducing dust collecting materials like carpets or drapes, implementing dust mite mitigation like covering your pillows or mattresses and using dehumidifiers. You want to avoid smoke in the home, including wood burning stoves and tobacco smoke. And if you're sensitive to animal dander, like a cat or dog, uh, keep those pets out of the bedroom and off the bed if possible. If you notice your asthma symptoms getting worse, here are some tips on what you can do to try and improve your symptoms. You can use a rescue inhaler or another emergency medication. You can change your location, such as leaving the environment where you're experiencing symptoms or going inside. You can enhance your air filtration or circulation by opening doors and windows. If your symptoms are related to cold or dry air, you can try covering your nose and mouth with a scarf or wearing a well-fitted mask, or you could try changing your clothes. And if your asthma symptoms don't improve with these tips, make sure you contact your asthma provider. Let us know in the comments how you identify and avoid your asthma triggers.